and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Community Guide. And today, I'm going over the best way to build a theme team, kind of how to build a theme team, what comes with building a theme team, and the easiest ways to go about it. So if you guys understand all that, we should be pretty good to go because there's multiple there's multiple facets of what makes a theme team and why you want to make one, such as the boost you get from it, the benefits you get from it, the feel you get from it, how to do it, kind of why you do it. I'm going to go over everything. I feel like this is a video that not many YouTubers have really made. So I think this could definitely help you guys. Like, I know a lot of you guys are always asking theme team questions. And if you guys haven't already, at least you can learn about it a little bit if you do choose to watch the video. Now, if you guys don't remember, it is the 25 days of Poodmas. Our day long giveaways that we'll be doing all the way up until Christmas. The Christmas promo is still on here, so the giveaways still stay at the same reward account, which is 30k. But the giveaway winner will be announced today on probably our first video of the day. I don't know if this will be it, probably not. But I will announce it on that video. So all you have to do to enter that giveaway is like the video, subscribe to the channel. And comment down below the secret word and your console. Now, by the way, boys, once you do all those things, you are entered to win. And we did hit 14,000 subscribers, so a pat on the back for all of us. Boys, thank you so much for that. That is crazy. 14,000 subscribers. We're slowly getting our way up there. Hopefully, by Christmas, we could be like at 15, 16K. That's kind of the goal. Let's see what we get with that. We still have like 20 days off to Christmas, so let's see what we can do. Now, let's get into this video. So, first things first, for a theme team. I'm going to switch on over to my friend's Ravens account real quick because I feel like that'd be a better representation of a theme team. Okay, so we are on the Ravens theme team account, so I'm going to show you guys what I mean. So first off, if you don't know what a theme team is, a theme team is pretty much a team that's oriented, or I should say composed of, mostly one singular team. Now, it doesn't have to be one singular team because pretty much to get the boost you're going to need, you're going to have to have a 50, at least 50 players of a certain team. Now, with all the backup slots and everything, you could have surpassed that, so you are able to fill other cards out of positions. To show you guys what I mean, this theme team right here is a team that is a Ravens theme team. Team. It is completely filled. It has all the Ravens max up 50 50 boost while still being able to start Joe Runyon and Bruce Matthews. So, pretty much, the theme team can put some out of position player or out of team players on there as long as you have the maximum requirement. So, a theme team pretty much starts like this you start getting your, your favorite team. So, this right now, I think some of the best theme teams are Ravens, the 49ers, typically every year Ravens, 49ers, and Cowboys. Those are typically three really good ones. Eagles are typically okay. The Browns aren't looking too bad this year. They do have a receiver, they do have quarterbacks, they do have some pretty good defense. They have some pretty good players this year, consider, considering they are the Browns. Now, here's the catch, right? Here, here's the catch with when it comes to making a theme team. So, before I get to the catch, a Ravens theme team can compose any player, past or present. So, to show you guys what I mean, Kyle Juszczyk is on the 49ers, but he can be put in a Ravens theme team. Now, here's the catch. To get them to be eligible for a Ravens theme team, you have to power them up, which can considerably increase cost if you don't already have the coins you'd already have powered up now it's okay because typically if you're gonna have a theme team you're rocking with them you probably want them powered up anyways to get the maximum boost but here's the here's the benefits of it. let me give you the cons the pros and cons of a new theme pro number one your players become crazy fast it's just that's just how it is they become really really fast so a player that you might not think would be good all, all, all regularly he can become really good in the theme team pro number two you get to rock your favorite team or one of your favorite teams and you get to play with them like it's actually the ravens and it kind of feels very oriented and very chemistry built number two number three all their a lot of their stats become crazy you can you can boost any stat you want you could literally make any side of the ball ridiculously overpowered you get you can make cards look like cards that they shouldn't be you can make a card right now in december look like a card in, in march that is how good you can make a card on a theme team the only issue here is this, this is the, this is the cons now the cons of being able to make some cards like for instance let me show you guys let me show you one card specific that looks like a card from march let's go to, let's go to Deion sanders He's got 99 speed, 99 excel, 97 agility, 95 jumping, 93 play rec, 97 man, 94 zone, 82 press. That card looks like a card that will come out in like March, May, somewhere over there. So let me let me show you guys the con now of that. Now you might have that, right? But then you might have this. This might be your left end. Brandon Williams, 56 speed, 86 overall in a time where that won't really compete too well. So kind of like, so you have to, since this is a Raven team, you have to work with their weak points, like left end. So how, he'll be a weakness here, but your cornerback is such a strength that it kind of evens out again. So I don't think it's that much of a difference off a regular team, considering that some cards are so overpowered, it's not even fair. Like you can't compete with the Deion Sanders, Raw Woodson, Humphrey, Ed Reed, and Earl Thomas. Like that's an insane secondary. Not to mention you get guys like Devin Hester as your wide receiver with 99 speed, 98, 99 excel. That's just kind of unreal. So that is one of the benefits of a theme team. Now, show you guys what I mean when I say cards can be upgraded beyond where they should be is like a flashback walking. We know flashback cards are horrible, right? He has 90 speed, 93 excel. It's pretty solid. 90 carrying, 91 trucking, 90 break tackle. 
any cat. Oh, I said that already. And he gets, I believe it is Bruiser and Jukebox. That is a very solid flashback card considering Lamar Jackson, already a speedy quarterback. He's 97 speed. And he doesn't even have sprinter max that yet. Once my friend gets sprinter max that, he will have a 98 speed quarterback with insane throwing stats. Guys, pretty much the be the beauty of these are that you can make you can make whatever you want. You can make players so overpowered that it kind of makes up for what you don't have. Look at all these tight ends. There's three tight ends here. They all have 89 speed pretty much, which is kind of unreal considering they're all tight ends. Now the way you do this, when it comes to a theme team. You have to put all the backups as Ravens. Like almost all your backups have to be close. To, if Ravens are at least close to it, not everyone, but some of them have to be Ravens. I don't. I don't know when he got Devonta Freeman. That's new. But as you guys can see, you gotta have to have your backups as Ravens now. If you get all your backups as Ravens, that is when you can go ahead and start putting in some regular players on there to fill in holes if you really want to make your team really overpowered. Now, here's how you start when you get a, when you want to build a theme team. First things first is that I, I recommend doing this. So you're gonna need their jerseys. And you're gonna need quite a few other things. So secret word for this video is cinnamon. Comment down below cinnamon, if you can spell that. And subscribe to the channel, comment your console, and like the video. Once you do all those things you are interested in, good luck. And to make it easy on yourself, I recommend going to sets. If you guys have these, go over all the way to the right. Once you get to theme builders, click on unlock challenges. Now go down to the team you want. So for you guys, it would be Ravens if you're building this type of team. Now he already has the Ravens, let's click on the Rams. So if you have any of these theme tokens left, which you, I, I used this last one on the Bears the other day. Pretty much this theme token that you get, you got them from Solo Challenge, you toss it in, you get everything from that team. You get their stadium, their coach, their jerseys, and their playbook. So you toss that in today, you collect it, and once you collect it, you will get a pack containing all the content of the team. Now you're gonna wanna take that back over to the lineup page, and you're gonna wanna go over to, not team visuals, but team strategy. And here is where you start making the magic happen. So you're gonna put the coach in, which is John Hallbog, the Ravens Uni, the Ravens Uni, and the Ravens Stadium. Now once you have that done, you're not done now. Now you have to go click onto them, with X, and then you go on here and you can see this chemistries you can add. Now, I believe this jersey's maxed out in the chemistry you can have, but he put on balanced offense. What balanced offense pretty much does is that it maxes out all your offensive capabilities. So there's Ravens rushing, there's Ravens balance, there's Ravens passing, there's Ravens pass D, and there's Ravens rush D. So, pretty much, you could either selectively get one side of the ball, you could selectively get one. For, uh, one portion of the ball so let's say you did madden ru ravens rushing you'd probably make all your running backs really crazy overpowered but then you don't affect anyone else now if you do balance oh as he did you get three catch three juke three run and three play action for his entire starting offense now i really don't think balance oh is the best one considering that when i look at it i mean it, no it's good it's definitely good. okay it was, it was wrong in there okay, that's better it's definitely good not bad at all but oh you do get plus one speed for it okay so i could see where you might want that now let's see okay so you get plus one speed so it's honestly kind of that's a really solid one to be honest with you you do get plus one speed but that one specifically only affects it affects everyone but not not in crazy ways if you did like straight madden rushing or straight one thing you'll probably make someone's overall go really high in a certain aspect of a certain field but you, i think you guys get the point now you're gonna want to do this with all of them now you have to do them in chat on fragments so it's like you have to get tier tier 40 out of 40 or tier 10 so every tier is gonna require like four of them so you can put like you can put like two upgrades on here two upgrades on here that's four put another four upgrades on here that's eight like you can you can slowly work your way up getting towards all the tiers but you don't have to do them all in one you can do them on each one because they do get pretty they get progressively more expensive as you keep going on so fragmenting it one at a time through each player and stadium and card will probably be more beneficial to you now, once you have that done, you're going to have your balance offense, whatever you pick, pretty high up max. You could do more than one, but then you won't get all the boost that you might want. Then the Baltimore Ravens 50 out of 50. That one's pretty big too. That's one that gives you plus two speed, plus two excel, plus two agility. 50 out of 50 Ravens and just make every card a little more athletic, which is good because you have to remember that some of these cards, like let's say Mark Ingram, were released like a month or two ago. So he's going to be behind, but the plus two speed, plus the Ravens uh, balance, so plus sprinter, that speed will catch him right back up. So he feels kind of like a card from you know the modern madden era of december so that's kind of always the beauty of having athleticism boost in that now remember if you also saw a sprinter on you toss like go deep on you get some other things going for them these cards just look pretty insane after a while that's always been the beauty of a theme team is that you can get some insane cards now remember you can get cards that were past players so like for my friend i was telling him he can get zadari smith on the packers zadari smith does have a power up so you can power up zadari smith and put him at outside linebacker or you can put him down on the line so that is one of the beauties of it, which is why the Ravens team team is pretty good this year. Because look, Devin Hester was a, was a bear on this card. You can put him right here at Ravens. I believe Kyle Juszczyk was out of position. 
Dallas Clark out of team, Dallas Clark out of team, Shannon Sharp out of team. They were once them, but their card initially isn't them. And that's just a few players right there. Now the Ravens, at least they have the Ravens actually have a lot of good drops on their own this year. Deion Sanders was a cowboy card. Rod Woodson was a Steeler card. Um let's see, let's see, let's see. CJ Moses is a Jets card. But the Ravens luckily actually have a lot of solid Raven drop, but there's some things like Randy Moss, guys that fit onto a lot of teams. Some of the legends fit onto a lot of teams, so it's definitely a benefit. But I think that pretty much wraps up the whole beauty of a theme team. I think I covered pretty much how you want to make it, what you want to do, how to put it together. Now, if you want to know exactly how to find certain players, guys, it's, it's not it's always the easiest thing. You can always go on Mudhead on a forum and find out, like, the all-time Ravens theme team or whatever. You can go look at YouTube videos. It's not always that easy because a lot of it's kind of hard to find past players that, like, it's like the low-key past players, like the fact that Randy Moss on the 49ers or Randy Moss on the Raiders. Now, he's a high-tier legend, so you probably know that. But let's say a guy like, I can't even think right now, like a guy that literally you have no idea. Maybe like Dallas Clark. Maybe you'd never think to even check him for that. But you guys at the point. Pretty much, you can look it up on Twitter. Ask people around who to add. That's pretty much how you always figure out what the best players are on the Ravens. Steve, you can always look up the best Ravens linemen of all time, best Ravens halfbacks of all time. And it pretty much show you guys a pretty good collection. But you still might miss guys who are only there for a little bit. But I think that pretty much wraps it up, guys. I hope this does help you with your formation of theme teams. I hope you guys can get this done. I know this probably interests a lot of you. I did do the all-time Ravens team TV video guys yesterday, and you guys seem to pretty much like that, so I figured it might be a good time to help you guys actually build one. But that's pretty much it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are new to the channel, make sure to go down below. Or get into the giveaway. So all you gotta do is enter the giveaway is smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below the secret word and your console, and once you do those things, you are entered to win. Good luck. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys next video. Peace.